Hey guys, TechRax here. Today I'm going to show you guys some of my tips and tricks for the new iPhone 5. Um, and these won't... What is this? What is this black spot? Come on, on my new iPhone. Anyways, um, this won't work for the iPhone 4 or the previous models, only for the iPhone 5 or of course iOS 6. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you may notice is when activating your iPhone 5, you're going to get this little Passbook app. This is uh, really new. And basically what this is, is you can keep your collection of um, coupons, tickets, gift cards, all organized in this app. So it's really neat. I haven't really got a chance to play around with it, but I really think it's cool and I'll probably be using it once I get some gift cards. Um, next cool thing is pretty simple. Go to settings and right here you can go ahead and disturb do not disturb this is a completely new feature you can have that on or off so um, it's kinda useless I guess but if you don't want people calling you you know just have put it on so I guess it's really cool um, next is camera um, this is one you guys a lot of you already know it's the panorama or panorama feature basically you hit record and uh, you move your iPhone 5 all across and basically you get one still image. It looks really cool. Next is Maps. It's the whole 3D integration. This is also one of the most popular um, features. And I one thing about this that I just don't like yet is there's a lot of glitches. Some buildings are missing. Um, just some areas are not updated yet. Um, hopefully they'll fix it, but overall it looks way better than Google Maps. And I really, really like this. I'll be using it a lot, definitely. So really can't um, wait just for that to be updated. Next um, is go to the weather and you'll have a nice updated look. Instead of scrolling up and down, you can just go right and left. So I really like that. And then just the, you have the whole, like the whole weather thing just looks a bit different. So it's pretty cool. Um, next, what do we have next? Oh yeah, all right. So if you go to the app store, um, it's a bit different now. It's organized basically for every app. You have a little thing like this like you have a little picture and it's really cool and if you go to like a lot charts it's really cool because it's different um, it's more organized and I think it's more simple I really like it actually way better than before um, so it's really cool that's one another really big one is if someone calls you I'm gonna do this right now so just give it a second to ring up basically you'll get something different if somebody calls you so all right, I'm calling right now. Just give it a second. All right, so instead of accepting or declining, you can actually pull this side thing here and you can reply with a message. So you can say, I'll call you later, uh, or you could just do custom and say whatever. Why does this keep popping out? Do you guys know how to fix this? This keeps popping out like every two minutes. I hate it. Anyways, um, you can uh, you just type in whatever you want instead of, you know, if you don't want to answer the phone. So that's really cool. Um, finally, the last thing I found is when you go to the music, it's slightly updated. kind of has this cool, look at that, again. kind of has this cool sleek design. I kind of like it, but um, music pretty much plays the same way. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace out.